So, uh, Mike, Mike Bailey, hi. Where did the uh, where did the idea come from? What's your sort of background, and where did you come up with the idea? Uh, even if you dedicated every Saturday for the rest of your life, <laughs> within reason, you couldn't visit every ground, or you'd certainly struggle to anyway. Okay, well, here's a condensed list of perhaps grounds you should visit, or like a bucket list, that kind of thing. I put a blog together, and I asked people, I explained the project, I asked people to nominate five I'd see in a book of this type. And I wanted them to give a reason as well. So they couldn't just say, you know, I support Chelsea, so Stamford Bridge needs to be in it. They had to give a reason. And that gave me a short list of 100. So I think about 350 different grounds nominated. Wow. And um, I then shortlisted that down to 100, ranked them in the of those that had the most votes and set off going to, to visit them all. The range of grounds that came in was staggering. Um, everything from village football to the Premier League. And sometimes from people, uh, from the same pe- same person. So one person might nominate five grounds. One could be Anfield, um, could be uh, the pilot field, Hastings United, in the same vote. Over to you, Mike, for the big Yeah, review. so the number one ground uh, in the book, the one that received the highest amount of votes, and I'll be honest, the highest amount of votes by quite a long way was um, the Dripping Pan, Lewis FC. It's a fantastic ground. Um, it could be location, history, backdrop friendliness, food, drink, um, of a, a day out. It might be nice pubs nearby. The Dripping Pan has all those elements. Buy this book because you will find your ground in it. And you might think it should be high and you might think it should be number one. I'm yeah. pretty sure if you expect to find the ground, you will. And I tell you, in reading this book, you'll find out not only about um, the football grounds, which are the heart of football, but you'll find out about the heart of football itself because so much of the stuff quoted in here gives you such a fantastic insight. I think as, as you've invited people to eulogise about grounds yeah. without knowing it, they've really eulogised about the football that they love.